Mahabir Bomisir and Mahabir Misir Bomisir and my auntie Dora. Um, Lily is the third sister. Um, Molly, her eldest. Uh, Shirley, her only our only cousin and brother, Mo Buddy, and Chandra. So, on behalf of them, I would like to read. Kamu. And Kamu, I'm sorry, Kamu, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and Kamu, I would like to read a little bit of eulogy and just a, a snapshot of Mike's life. It was a great sadness from the depth of my heart on the passing of my brother-in-law, Mike Mangra. Words cannot express how I felt on hearing the sad news on Sunday morning, listening to my dearest dearest cousin Lily Mangra crying so bitterly on the phone made me felt more sad and wanted to be near her just to give her that hug. Lily and myself grew up so very close. We were more like twins than cousins as we are the same age. So yes, my heart bleeds for her and her daughter and her grandson. Mike was my driver whenever I go come to New York and needed a ride. I will miss him immensely. He was a kind, gentle, and a quiet person, as I would say, a gentle soul, always smiling, and he died where he loved the most, in the house of God at the temple. Mike and Lily got married in the 70s. He truly loved Lily. I remember him singing a love song, you are the only one, my one and only one, at my father-in-law's house. When he was having a few drinks with the boys, he noted that song was for the only girl he will ever love, and that girl was Pandit Bo Monsieur's daughter. But he said he had not asked home for the girl as yet. The boys teased him so much that night and told him why not go home and ask. He said, man, me frighten. Anyway, they were married shortly after. In the 70s, Mike and Lily moved to England so he could pursue his education, become an accountant. He did. They made lots of sacrifices together to achieve what they ventured out to do. Lily worked so that Mike could go to school. And they had left their only child, Sandy, three years old then, I think, back in Guyana with Mike's mom. Sandy later joined them. However, Mike, Lily and Sandy moved back to Guyana later and life was not what they envisioned it to be. So shortly after, they moved to the USA to follow the American dream, where Mike continued to work as an accountant. But life was not that easy for him and his family in America too. He had to overcome many obstacles to get where he was. He was so proud of his daughter's achievements and would often talk to us about it. He had dreams for her. I will say with great conviction that Mike truly loved his only daughter and child. As a matter of fact, he was proud of anyone who would make great strides in education. He helped me a lot in my accounting classes. Even though I was living in Toronto, we would be contacting each other over the phone. I remember when I graduated from university, he said, you have come a long way and have done what you had to do. You should be proud. Now you can just sit back and read great books to keep yourself occupied and your brains going. Mike fought many battles in life. He managed to challenge and overcome them all. At times I knew he wanted to be, just give up, but he continued to fight and yes, he won that battle then. One of Mike's greatest strength was listening. He would listen deeply. When one speaks and with that great depth, he will always find a way to resolve or give you an answer which was always positive. And with a soft tone in his voice, he will tell you what he had to say as he was always softly spoken. Mike was well versed in his scriptures and that kept him strong and he believed and valued those scriptures to the core of his heart. He had a strong belief and value system within himself. Mike was ecstatic when his, he got his first grandson, Kiran, was his pride and joy. He loved him immensely and would do anything for him. Kiran will surely miss his Nana now. No more Nana to sing, read, and tell him stories. 
I must add that heart attack does not tell when it will attack and no one can be prepared for that. That is inevitable. And in this life, we have to be kind to one another and treat others and the one we love well with respect and love. Life is short, life is a cycle. It brings birth, growth, and death. May God, may God grant his gentle soul rest, cradle it in his loving arms, and that, and that they walk hand in hand in the beautiful garden they call paradise. God grant my cousin Lily and her only child Sandy, as well as her only grandchild, Kiran, strength, faith, courage in the days and years to come and in this dark moment of their life. Rest in eternal peace forever, Mike. We will all miss you. I will read a very short poem, which I think makes sense, and which is, it's all about life. We tend to think about all the chaos that's going on in, in the world and in our lives, but we stop to think about the little things that really matters. And I will read this poem now. It's written by W.H. Davis, and the older folks will know this poem. It's called Leisure. What is life 